Hello everyone. We will continue the topic classical report events and in the previous videos. So far we covered initialization, add selection screen, start of selection and end of selection. Out of these events, some events require action from our end. Some event trigger automatically when their time or situation has been reached. Now we will move on to our next event. Our next event is top of page. Now, again, this event does not require any user action. It triggers automatically. It calls automatically when a time or situation has been reached. It does not require any action from our end. Suppose in the previous video, we covered end of selection. That event also triggers automatically when that data or records has been ended. Same is with this particular event also. Top of page event triggers or call automatically when a particular time or situation has been reached. Now, at what time this event will call? This event calls when the first write statement occurs in a program. Whenever we have the first write statement, at that time, top of page event triggers. Now, what is the benefit of this event? Yes, the purpose of this event is to give the header or title at the beginning of a new page. Firstly, word itself is saying top of page. It means it is, is it is the top of every page. So with the help of this event, we can give header, we can give title at the beginning of a new page means at the beginning beginning because it is top of page event now i'm specifically using the word new page new page because in real projects we always always have multiple pages output so whenever we want to give the header or title at the beginning of a new page means at the beginning of every page at that time we will use this particular event so what is top of page event top of page event again does not require any user action it triggers automatically at what time it triggers when we have the first write statement in the program and yes what is the purpose of this event? We can give the header or title at the beginning. We are using the word beginning because it is top of page at the beginning of a new page. Whenever we will do the practical, this all will make more sense to you. Now, what we will do, we'll go for our program. And in that program, we will use top of page event. Suppose firstly, what we will print with the help of top of page. Suppose firstly, I will execute the program. This is the output. So with the help of top of page, what we will do, we will print two things with the help of top of page. Firstly, we will give the column labels, column labels. Yes. You all know, yes, column label is what? It is header or some information, yes. So we will give the column labels with the help of top of page. Plus, we will print page number also at the beginning of a page. So we will go for two things with the help of top of page. We will give column labels. Plus, we will give the page number also with the help of top of page event. So I will do this. Now we will go for top of page. Top of page. Now, firstly, 
we will print the page number. We will print the page number. I will go for write statement. Suppose I will write page number. Now to print the page number, we have a system variable itself. It will automatically print the page number and the system variable is psi p a g n o. Yes, it starts with s y. It means it is a system variable itself. So with the help of this system variable, you can print the current page number. Now, if we have 10 pages, so on the 10th page, the system variable will be 10. Suppose we have fifth number page, so it will print automatically five on the fifth page number. So this variable will automatically print the current page number. Now, best practice, we should not always hard, we should never, never hard code the things into one language. We should always, always use text symbol. So I will go for go to text element, text symbols. Suppose I will write 001 for page number. We know the practices, so we should always follow the practices. Now, rather than writing page number like this, I will write text hyphen 001. So we displayed first information page number with the help of top of page. Now we will print the column labels also, field labels also, right? What is first column? First column will be, anyways, we have four column. First column will be order number. Now, we will see the length of order number 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. It means 12 is reserved for the first column. Suppose after that we will give a space of 2. So 12 plus 2, 14 is reserved. It means we will start the next column from 50. In the previous videos, I already put so much stress that how you can give column labels. So 15th position order date will start. 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. So 24 is fixed till order date. Suppose I will give a space of 2, 24 plus 2, 26. So we'll start the third column from 27. Payment mode. 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38. So 38 till payment mode plus 2, 40. It means next column will start from 41. And last column will be currency. Now, best practices, yes, we should not hard code the things. We should always, always use what text symbols. So I will go for text symbol. Go to text element, text symbols. Suppose 002, order number. From the starting itself, we can write here, it's our wish. Order number, next one is order date 003 004 is payment mode and 005 is your currency we will activate from 02 to 05 we will use so i will write text hyphen 002 from the starting point itself, we can directly create text symbols. Just to give the best clarity, firstly, I put hard coded and then I am replacing. 004 and we have 005. So these two information 
we are printing through top of page event. I'll check the syntax and I will activate the program. So now what is the summary of the video? What we covered into this particular video, we covered that top of page event triggers automatically. Yes. And at what time this event trigger, whenever we have the first right statement in the program, whenever we have first right statement, this event triggers automatically and word itself is saying top of page. It means we can give the title, we can give the header, we can give the information at the beginning of a new page. In our current scenario, we are giving two information with the help of top of page event. First thing, we are giving the page number. And second thing, we are giving the column labels. Yes, with the help of top of page event. Now, one thing I will do because our data will not be aligned. So I will use the word under. So our order number values will be displayed under which particular text, which particular column label order number. Our order date will print under order date. If you remember when we covered this topic, how to provide the column labels at that time, data was not aligned. So we used under keyword to align that data with the column labels. Third will be payment mode under. And currency will be under text 005. Whenever you will use the word under, so yes, that the data of that column will be aligned with that. Okay, under. Data of that column will print under that column only. Now, in the next video, we will understand the flow in that debugging mode because next, next flow is very, very important. In case of events, writing the logic is not important. How it is triggering is extremely important. That part we will cover in the next video. Thank you.